what happened this morning? Um, so around maybe like 1.10 we got back home. Um, we parked right here where the um, white Kia is, uh, but we faced the car this way. Um, Blaze's dad went to go drop off his, our nephew and like some gross I mean some bags that we had and stuff like that um, he was in there for probably like 30 seconds maybe and, and within those 30 seconds he came back outside and the car was gone with blaze in it what was going through your head um, I really couldn't think at that time at that moment I, I just everything just shut down like my whole mind just shut down um, at this point when we came outside together and seeing like that the car was really gone at that point I'm just like where could he be like where you know what um, what was going for your mind I was shocked I was worried I, I thought it was a dream I just kept saying it's a dream it just can't be real and it just broke down you might, have, you might have seen Similar things like this on the news before. Uh, did you ever think that something like this could happen to y'all? No, sir. Not at all. I mean, it's just a, just a routine putting away groceries, and no, uh, something like this just comes out of nowhere for you. No. What uh, if you could say something right now to the person who has your your child? What would you say? Just please bring him home. You can keep the, the car. Don't even matter. Just bring my son home. And how about you? What what, what message do you have for? Yeah. Um. Just bring my baby back safely, unharmed. Um. Just bring him back. You know. We don't want to press no charges. We just want him back. Like he said, we don't. Scared, a lot of praying here, um, just really, really hoping the family desperate to have Blaze back home. I'm here with his parents, Deanna Bray and Xavier Barnett. How are you guys holding up this morning? I know it's been a harrowing night. Um, we not really holding up too good, but we trying, we trying, just for the sake of just being strong enough, you know, to, you know, have him back home. You said your your only wish right now, the only message you have is to, to please bring him home, right? What's your message to whoever took the car? Just bring him home safely. Um, if he's cold, just keep him warm. I know he's crying right now. Don't get upset that at the crying, you know. He's just a baby. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know who you are. Um, He's not used to your face and his family is not around him. We're not around him, so he's going to cry. So just don't get irritated. Like, I beg you, please don't get irritated at his crying because I know he's crying. He will not stop. Because he probably wants his mom and he's scared, I, like I'm sure you both are. Now, let's help explain to people exactly what happened and what we're looking for. So you guys were unloading groceries around 1 o'clock this morning, right? And the car, show me where the car was parked. Um, right here where this white Kia is, it was parked right there, but facing in this direction. And then what happened after that? Um, um, after that, uh, Blaze's dad went to go drop our nephew off in the house with the groceries and stuff. And then he came back outside. Uh, probably like 30 seconds he, he was in there. And as soon as he come back outside, the car and Blaze is gone. And you say at this point the car is not running, but the keys are where? Um, the keys are like in the cup holder. Like right there in the yeah cup holder. Xavier, how how are you doing this morning? Not so good. What are your thoughts and what's your message to wherever that car is right now? Just bring my son back. I don't even keep the car. Just bring my son back. That's all I want. Him home. Any other message you want to send to whoever's driving that car right now? No. Just bring him home. Just bring him home. Okay. We'll keep showing.
B U L C H E R. And what's the very latest right now? Um, as of today, approximately 10 30 a.m., with the help of the Cab County Police Department, we were able to locate the vehicle involved for the incident this morning that took place over at 1000 Montreal Road at Park 1000. Uh, the vehicle that was in question was a 2002 Ford Explorer, silver in color. Uh, it was located within Brandon Hills Condos, located off Memorial College Avenue. The vehicle was unoccupied at the time of, of locating the vehicle. Uh, Blaze, along with his car seat, was missing from the vehicle. The vehicle has been taken to the GBI headquarters for processing of the evidence. A witness at the scene observed a male who later uh, was able to be located and interviewed by our investigations. Um, uh, located and interviewed by our investigations unit and later released. This is still a fluid and active investigation and our top priority is to locate the missing juvenile Blaze. Again, Blaze was last seen wearing a green tank top with dinosaur print and a blanket wrapped around the bottom half of his uh, body. It is the Clarkson's Police Department's top priority to find Blaze. And as of right now, we don't have anything further other than he is still missing. We do have the vehicle and it is currently at the GBI um, being processed. Are you running down any tips? We have not had any any viable tips um, as of right now. Um, again, we, we encourage the public to reach out to us if they see Blaze or have any information of where Blaze is at. Normally in situations like this where someone steals an SUV and they, they discover that a baby's inside, they end up you know abandoning the baby, safely leaving it at a, at a house or a hospital or whatever. In this case, the baby's been gone now for 12 hours. This has got to be some serious concern for you and the family and everyone involved. Yes, it's very concerning with us. Um, that's why it is our, our top priority to locate this uh, juvenile. Can you, you say what us? took you to Brandon Hills? Uh, we got a call uh, by a uh, subject that located, that had thought they seen the vehicle and the Cab County Police Department uh, went around to the location. They found the vehicle abandoned in the back of the uh, complex. Did you find, well, I, I guess it's maybe too early to answer whether there was any um, evidence found in the car that was a uh, useful not, not at this time it's still being processed it is still being processed yeah. is this all hands on deck for your police department yes everyone we have out right now uh on the streets campus in the area as uh, well as uh, the help with the cab county police department are you doing any active searches right now and where those searches taking place uh active searches we are we have all of our patrol units we have several of our cid units out um we have the family They've, they've uh, come together, uh, they've gone door to door, um, but as of right now, we do have active search for them. Did you, do you have any reason to believe that the child may have been uh, left in the area, in that very rural, not rural, but a, that isolated, decrep, broken, broken down of that neighborhood uh, that's very isolated, maybe from the woods? I mean, have you, have you searched out there? Because the family and relatives have been out there searching. Okay, so we, we have looked around. Uh, that That is a possibility, uh, but we are in the process of searching at, at this time. Do you have any indication that Liz is being held somewhere by someone? And if that were the case, what would you say to, to those people? We don't have any indication at that time. Um, uh, just please return to juvenile um, safely. If you just want to call and say, hey, I've left the juvenile. Um, at a location, we'll come by, you know, just, we're, our top priority is to locate the juvenile. Are there any persons of interest in your investigation? And not at this time. Are you, uh, do you have any scheduled updates or? Uh, scheduled updates. As warranted? As, as warranted, as of right now, we don't have anything coming in. Um, that's why we're asking the public's help to help us locate uh, Blaze. Has there been any help for surveillance video? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, um, as of right now, they have pulled some surveillance video. I don't think any of that has gave us a lead at this time.